whole scene. You know, you're in Southern California. When you go down the front straightaway, you know, you're like 30 feet from a boat. The water's right there when you go down the front straightaway. Restaurants and cool hotels. I always call it the American uh, Monte Carlo. So uh, it's the atmosphere. It attracts a different crowd also. Maybe people which sometimes or otherwise wouldn't go to a racetrack, they come because it's close by or it's the show. So it's a different animal a little bit and that makes it also interesting for us as a competitor. The street races are crazy because they're always so tight um, and it's always a constant battle for position and to make a pass on a street course it's usually pretty hairy and pretty tight so a lot of times you see you know massive amounts of rover rage and people bumping and banging but that's kind of the way street course racing goes. Everyone wants to win and there's not a lot of time to do it so you have to take bigger risks if you want to make passes. Because the walls are so close and so tight, I think that uh, people get very focused in on that. You almost get tunnel vision. I mean, it only takes just a tiny little mistake and then it snowballs out of control. You know, you hear every year drivers talk about it. it's just, you know, it's a street fight, it's a brawl, it's a battle, it's, you know, all these things. But that's, I mean, that's street racing, you know. There's not a lot of margin for error, right? And so you have to put the thing up against the walls. And the closer you put to the walls, the more racetrack you use, the faster you're going to be. You gotta be forceful. If you're not forceful at a street course, then you know there's no real runoff. It's just one of those things, it's it's contact at, at any racetrack. You you avoid it at all costs, but sometimes in a race like that you gotta you gotta you know move some people out of the way.